Hello. Uh, what I want to talk about today is um, this thing here. It's uh, a compression fitting ring or a compression fitting olive or a compression fitting ferrule. Different names for it. Um, this one here has been used and you can see it's, it's compressed onto the pipe. So um, the point is that from time to time you need to get this nut and olive off the pipe uh, in the job situation to maybe replace uh, your radiator valve shower unit or other type of plumbing fittings. Now if I show you this, this is a we call the olive pull-off tool. It goes on like that, screws on, I'm sure you know the story, and then you screw this, it pulls the olive off sometimes. Uh, I've actually used that tool before I made this video and this is what happened. It, it actually flared out the top of the pipe there, it works its way in, the plunger works its way in, flared in and flared it out and then couldn't get it off at all so put it to one side. So what I'm going to show you today is this new tool of ours called the Olive Pull-Off Tool. And you can see you've got a plunger there which is moving in and out relative to the handles. So if you pull the handle out like that the plunger retracts. Now how it works is this is the same little Olive here. You place that inside there and if you can just see there the the plunger, the screw the handle rests on the end of the pipe. You can actually see it on this one, see what's happening. And then all you do then is simply you need a fair little bit of hand strength on this. You just squeeze it together, and if you can see that now, put pushes it out, straight out, and off. And there it is off. You can see the end of the pipe there, slightly crimped, it's not been over tightened, but it's, it's water it's, it's watertight fitting. And then it, it traps the, the nut on the olive inside the tool until you want to release it. All you do is pull the handle back and it's released like that. So that is your standard 15mm uh, pipe, which accounts for um, probably 90% of all olive removals. What I want to show you next is how to remove a 10mm uh, olive from a pipe. Now what we've got here is uh, exactly the same thing, nut olive pipe, except the size of this is uh, 10 millimeter. Now it's very rare that you want to pull these off, but sometimes in certain circumstances you don't want to cut the pipe because it's a little bit too short or whatever, so you want to keep keep it the same length and actually pull that off, and these can be just as tight as a 15 mil. Now, as I said before, this this thing here will only do 15 and 22 if you're lucky. Uh, so I'm going to show you now how to adapt the um, olive pull-off tool to do 10mm. There's two parts to this now. There's the um, adapter plate, 10 mil adapter plate, which is this. Now because the um, because the, the nut is uh, is smaller in diameter in size, so to say, than the 15mm, uh, it need it needs to be um, packed out behind there, so that's, that's what this plate does, and I'll show you it does that. It goes in three ways, that's that's the first way, it drops in like that, and this goes in after the pipes, the nut and the oil has gone in, inside the fitting, but I'll show you that in a second. That's one way, now if you're up against something tight there, um, that would be in the way, so it, it also goes in sideways, like, like that, okay? Now if there's something on the right hand side that you tap against a wall or something, it will also go in, the outer plate will also go in this way, so it'll, it'll coat for all circumstances. So it'll go in like that, if you can see there. So that's three ways to that. Now that goes in after we've put the, uh, the nut and olive in. Now you've got the plunger here which is set for 15mm. If you, if you look in the end of the plunger there you can see a hole. Now this here, this piece here is the adapter nipple. Very small. Um, it's got a little rubber, rubber o-ring there. Now what you do, you fit that inside, inside the 50 mm plunger. You just push it in. It's got a nice, nice fit in there. See, so it's now it's now adapted for um, the 10 mm pipe. Next thing you do is insert the nut and olive inside, as before with the 50 mm inside tool itself. Then you get the adapter plate and just slide that behind the back there. So if you can see that now, it's nicely on there, the plunger is inside the pipe, 
the nut is up against the uh, adapter plate, ready to squeeze off. So just the same thing, just a squeeze. See now, just pushing it off. There you go, cleanly off. There's the pipe. Remove the adapter plate. So you've got your nut and your olives there. So you just retract the tool. The nut comes out, and then you can either pull the olive off or pull the whole thing out like so. And there's your olive. And there you just pull it off. And that's not done. Now further to that, I'm going to. Okay, so what we're going to deal with now is 22 mil olives. That's 22 mil olive uh, using the olive pull-off tool. Now, as you can see now, that's set you know, for the standard basic uh, 50 mil, which is obviously 90%. I think of olive removals. So what we need to get this this off is the uh, 22 mil adapter kit, which is um, these two parts here. I'll show you that now. Now this this is the adapter bracket. Now how that works? It simply places over the end of the uh, of the tool like that. And then you give it a little tap on. Just tap it on like that, and that's that's now that's now fitted on. Now, uh, if you look in the end of there, you can see the hole again that we used before. Now we use the 22 mil adapter plunger, and that's simply you can see just thread through the holes in there, straight through. And into the end of the plunger like that so it's all fixed on now all we've done is extended the head of the tool from 15 to 22 using this bracket so this is the end where we'll fit our piece which is again this uh, 22 mil tube with an olive on it and that'll simply just fit inside there and that's it all on ready to squeeze off if you look in the end you can actually see your plunger there on the end of the pipe very 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 squarely and it's held the nut absolutely square now I'm not going to squeeze this off at the moment for a reason I'm just going to put that to the side for a minute I'm going to show you how um, traditional olive puller works this one which you probably know about already that screws on the end there as you know and then you, you grip the body and then screw this plunger in and hopefully it will push it off but You've got rotational force on this pipe here, which you don't want. I'll show you why. Um, if this, for instance, this is 22 mil as well. Um, if this piece of pipe, as as the radiator pipe, was going into the underneath the floorboards or whatever, and was connected to a T or an elbow or whatever compression fitting, and you caused rotational, because if you cause rotational force on it, you can disturb the joint underneath, and then you'll have a leak and then you'd be digging up floorboards and all that, you don't want to be doing things like that because this relies on rotation to pull off this one just pulls straight off so I'm actually going to show with this one, I'm going to take that fitting off now I'll try and keep it out of the way of the camera so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to show how this will possibly rotate that pipe like that. Screws up. Up. Ah, yes. Of course, no, that won't fit because this is a metric fitting as well. You see, it won't fit on that type of nut um, as it won't fit on any type of metric nut. This is designed for half inch and three quarter BSP. But. Again, if you use the olive pull off, it doesn't rely on any threads. So, what I'll do is just fit it over there, like so. Squeeze it on. No rotational force, that's on now, ready. If you watch the spot on there, just pulls it straight off, like that, and that's it, job done. Now, if you want to remove this, all you do is you separate the plunger there, separate the plunger, and then you have a slot there. This is how easy it is to get it off. 
just put the screwdriver in the slot, give it a twist, and it lifts off. Put that to the side. This is now ready again to do 15mm olives. And finally, I'm just going to show you on this one, same thing. I'm going to take this off. This could be a radiator pipe sticking out the floor. Back now to 15mm, which, like I say, accounts for probably 90% of all the removals. Slip that over there. And I know this is quite tight, this actually. I'm going to squeeze it off. There you go. Pulls it off. No rotation of the pipes, box in the same place. As you're always there's your nut. That's it, job done. Thanks for watching.